welcome to engineering tutorial. So, we will continue our discussion related to analog electronics and so far in the previous videos we discussed some questions on Zener diodes. Okay? So, in the next uh, series of videos we will be uh, shifting our focus uh, again to some uh, diode circuits okay i have already posted some questions some problems related to diodes but still i think uh, we should discuss some more questions to uh, you know cover uh, the whole uh, range of concepts that can be uh, you know understood with the help of questions because there are a lot of things uh, which cannot be explained theoretically only when we solve a lot of numerical problems we can you know uh, tick on those concepts and we can clear them okay so here uh, is the question that we have so here we have this circuit where we have a silicon diode which is connected to a ac voltage which is uh, this peak value of uh, the maximum value of 20 volt and uh, here we have to find out the uh, peak output voltage appearing across this 500 ohm load resistance and then the second part of the question is to find out the peak current okay peak voltage and peak current that we have to find out for this condition and then uh, when the diode is assumed to be ideal that is no voltage drop potential barrier what will be the same values that is the peak output voltage and the peak current so two parts okay so here uh, another thing which is there is that the forward resistance of the diode is 10 ohm that is uh, an extra information okay the forward resistance of the diode is 10 ohm which will be included in the first part okay so one extra information which i missed so this is the information that we have we have to find out the peak voltage and peak current so here if we redraw the circuit for the diode it will be will replace it with its potential barrier voltage and the forward resistance that is 10 ohm and 0 0.7 volt because silicon diode is there and peak condition will happen when the input voltage will be 20 volt the maximum value okay so that will be the case when the maximum input voltage will be there and in that case the maximum current will also flow another important thing is that this circuit will operate only during the positive half cycle so it will only conduct during the positive half cycle why because see when uh, the input voltage will be in its positive half cycle this end will be positive this end will be negative which means positive connected to the p end negative connected to the n end the diode is forward biased when it will be in the negative half cycle this one will be negative this one will be positive in this case the negative connected to the p end of the diode positive connected to the n end of the diode diode will be reverse biased open circuited no current will flow through the low so we can say it is an example of a half wave rectifier so this is the condition in the positive half cycle 20 volt plus minus this is the equivalent circuit of the diode replaced with its potential barrier voltage and the forward resistance so i posted a lot of videos related to the basic concepts related to diodes its construction working principle different conditions related to forward bias reverse bias and uh, 
all the concepts associated with it. So, please check the analog electronics playlist for that. So, this is the circuit. So, we have to find out the current here which is the peak current during the peak input voltage which is 20 volt. So, it will be simply 20 minus 0 0.7 divided by the total resistance 500 plus 10 this is in volts this is in ohm so it is 19.3 volt by 510 ohm so that is equal to 0 0.0378 ampere or we can write it as 37.8 milliampere this ok. So, the peak output voltage that is the voltage across this load it will also be maximum when the peak current will flow. So, this peak value will be zero point zero three seven eight into five hundred ohm okay so that is equal to so it is coming around eighteen point nine two one volt eighteen point nine two one volt ok so this is the first part of the question the second part of the question is what will be the values when the diode is assumed to be ideal it means no potential barrier voltage nothing so here the diode will simply behave as a short circuit ok it will behave as a short circuit uh, sorry uh, this is not the diode will behave as a short circuit because that is the ideal condition again the input voltage peak which is equal to 20 volt 500 ohm load resistance the peak current here will be 20 volt by 500 ohm that is equal to uh, it will be 40 milliampere ok yes it will be 40 milliampere 20 yes 0 0.04 ampere which is 40 milliampere and the whole of the peak input voltage will appear across this load resistance which will be equal to 20 volt because there will be no drop no drop in this case because it is short circuited no resistance forward resistance no potential barrier voltage nothing so the entire input voltage peak value will appear across the load resistance which is equal to 20 volt so these are the two conditions in the first case we had the diode with some potential barrier voltage for silicon which is 0.7 volt because we are given silicon diode then the forward resistance was given 10 ohm so, in that case the values were this peak current 37.8 milliampere, peak output voltage 18.921 volt. Second case where the diode was considered to be ideal, no barrier voltage, no forward resistance. So, in that case the values were this. Okay. So, here we are with another question on uh, PN junction diode. So, this is the uh, circuit here and uh, we have to find out the current flowing through the diode and the information which we have provided here is that the diode is to be considered ideal. What it means is that there is no barrier potential ok. Oh, this is we have to consider the thing. Okay. 
no barrier potential okay and no forward resistance these are the conditions because it is considered to be ideal normally we have silicon 0.7 volt barrier potential and if it's germanium it is 0.3 volt but here none of that is there no forward resistance also so here we have to find out this current flowing through the diode so uh, let us uh, use thevenin you know equivalent circuit approach we'll find out the uh, equivalent thevenin circuit across the diode so we'll remove the diode okay this and this we'll find out the thevenin circuit across these two terminals okay 10 volt 50 ohm 5 ohm so thevenin voltage applying voltage division rule it is 10 into 5 by 50 plus 5 voltage division rule which is 50 by 55 volt which is equal to let us calculate okay 0 0.909 okay 0 0.909 volt okay that is the thevenin voltage thevenin resistance short circuiting the independent source that is the 10 volt source okay 50 ohm and 5 ohm that is rth so it is simply 50 parallel 5 that is 50 into 5 by 50 plus 5 which is equal to 250 divided by 55 which is 4.54 per 5 or let us call it 4.55 ohm okay rounding it off so these are uh, the data okay thevenin voltage thevenin resistance so let us replace the circuit with its equivalent thevenin equivalent circuit okay so we have 0 0.909 volt then we have 4.55 ohm resistance then we have the diode connected in this direction okay like this this is the equivalent circuit now the diode is considered to be ideal it means that will simply replace it with a short circuit why because no built-in potential no forward resistance so when we replace it with a short circuit like this 0 0.909 4.55 ohm the diode current will be simply 0 0.909 divided by 4.55 this is volt this is ohm the result will be in ampere so it is 0 0.909 divided by 4.55 so it is coming around uh, 0 0.2 close to 0 0.19 with 0 0.2 ampere or we can call it 200 milliampere anyway you want to express it it will be correct this is the answer now let me tell you something interesting okay here just to make you understand uh, we did the thevenin equivalent circuit thing you could have solved it using norton equivalent circuit also let me tell you another way here the diode is it is said that the diode is ideal so if we directly replace it with short circuit what will happen see 10 volt 50 ohm 5 ohm and then we have this diode this we have to find this current it is ideal so we'll replace it with short circuit 
So when we replace it with short circuit, like this, we replace it with short circuit. Now here we know from the basic principle of circuit analysis that current always takes the minimum resistance path, zero resistance path. So here, no current will flow through this 5 ohm resistor, okay? And the entire current will flow through this short circuited path. So the equivalent circuit will be something like this. The whole 5 ohm resistor will become, well, it will have no value at all, like this, 10 volt, 50 ohm, just because the, we have a short circuited path, shorted path. So in this case, we can directly find out the diode current, which is 10 volt by 50 ohm, okay? 10 volt divided by 50 ohm, which is 1 by 5, 0.2 ampere. Same, 200 milliampere. So this is also another interesting concept, which you can use, okay? So you can go with the normal circuit analysis approach or you can use some basic concepts you know to minimize the calculation number of steps and you can get the result quickly okay so this is the solution